All right, you guys. So today we'll be playing Science by System of a Down. So first of all, the song's in drop C tuning, which is a whole step down from your standard tuning, a step down further on the sixth string. So the notes are D, A, F, C, G, and C again. All right. So let's take a look at the intro first, which goes a little something like this. All right, something like that. So basically what's going on here is we're playing the C harmonic, which is basically the fifth uh, fret of the fourth string, slightly touching the string uh, closer to the fret. Right That's the C harmonic. I'm um, pretty sure it's closer to the third octave. Um, sorry, uh, fourth octave of the guitar. Yeah. Um, and then we're playing this palm muted open fourth string, which is basically another C, second octave of C. All right, but palm muted. All right. So there's a little rhythm to it uh, and a little pattern to it. So let's take a look at it slowly, and hopefully you'll be able to. Uh, to catch it. All right, so if you can see, it repeats this twice, the same thing, and then it, it cuts it in half, and then it cuts it, it cuts it in half again, so. All right, that type of pattern will repeat along the song. So that's the intro. Then we move on to the main riff, which will be the chorus riff also, and goes a little something like this. All right, so basically we're playing this C power chord. Uh, in two different octaves uh, as a drone and then there's a little arrangement. So starting, um, it starts with just once this C power chord in the second octave, so fifth and seventh fret of the fourth and fifth string, just once. Right? And then you add this lower power chord, C power chord in the fifth and sixth string open, but you play it twice, uh, six times, sorry. So it goes out of something like this. All right, slowly. All right. And then you do this little walk, um, starting in the sixth string, G sharp, A fret, basically. Let, let me show you the little walk. All right, so G sharp, A fret of the sixth string, same string, A, sh uh, a sharp, then fret. Then you go to the fifth string, you play this little D, seventh fret, uh, D sharp, A fret, F, uh, tenth fret, back to D sharp, back to D. All right, and then you repeat the, the whole thing. Then we get to the verse riff, which repeats the pattern of the intro, basically. Um, but there's two variations to it. So if you remember the intro. All right. So that's the second half of the first verse, at least, because the first verse is, is longer than the second. Um, so let's take a look at the first verse, uh, which goes a little something like this. Starts here, uh, C sharp, single note, no fall mute, um, four string per fret. And that's the, the, the repeating note uh, along the pattern. So. That's the first half. And then we move on to basically the same as the intro. Basically, we add the harmonic. using the droning C note, all right? And then we get to the main riff, chorus riff, which repeats twice. All right. 
then we get back to the verse, which is shorter. Um, and basically, we split everything in half. We uh, instead of repeating twice with different notes, we just do it once, the the, the pattern at least. And uh, we do the first half uh, with the C sharp. <laughs> And then we add the harmonica. Alright, so hopefully that made sense. We repeat the chorus again. Alright, twice. And then we get to this post chorus riff, which goes a little something like this. Basically, we're playing power chords, C power chord, D and D sharp. So open, fifth and sixth string, second fret for the D, and third fret for the D sharp. And that little walk up is, uh, you know, G sharp, all right? Then we get to the bridge or interlude. Um, not sure how to explain this one, so let me show you first how it goes. We'll take a look at the live version, because basically this whole section, especially the second half, which is a kind of a solo, is played in with a variety of, of instruments. So you can hear a sitar, and I'm pretty sure you can hear a banjo too, along the guitar, harmonizing, you know, playing in, in separate octaves also, and a few other arrangements. Um, so let's take a look at how he plays it live, since, you know, that's the most honest reproduction of that song, uh, at least for the band. Um, so let's take a look at the first half, which goes a little something like this. All right. So first of all, there's two guitars in the studio. One just plays some accents three times. So uh, this C power chord uh, accent. Uh, but the other guitar is basically doing the following. All right. Um, there's always a drone in C for both sections, for low C. Um, and basically what uh, we're playing is the drone note, this uh, second octave C, fifth fret of the fifth string, right? And then F and G in the fourth string, um, fifth and seventh fret. So. And then repeat uh, drone C, um, but instead of doing F and G, we do G and G sharp, so seven and eight fret of the four string. All right, and then we go back to drone C, G G sharp, and then we go to the third string fifth fret and play this A sharp, and back to uh, G sharp and G. So slowly the whole thing will be Alright, sorry Alright, hopefully that made sense Remember that the drone note is pretty much palm muted at least live. And you can pretty much play the drone note as a power chord, so, you know, the, with the fifth, open fifth string. So then we get to the second half, which, let me show you how it goes first. It goes a little something like this. shorter there but basically those are the the parts that we'll take a look at so first of all we have this little arrangement right which is kind of like the walk uh, of the chorus all right that that's the idea is just to you know uh, um, create a, a loops sense of a loop basically all right so 
it starts with that little riff um, you know always droning with the low C take a uh, you know, keep in mind that basically Darren never plays it live the same way he kind of get has a gist of what he wants to play but he never plays it the, uh, you know the same so um, pretty much I'm teaching you guys like the best of all worlds I've seen a shit ton of versions of science live not only because of this video basically because I'm a system of a down head so yeah getting back to it um as I said we're droning in the low C all right and then we play uh, in the fourth string the C open all right this D sharp third fret in F uh, fifth fret back to D sharp D second fret you do that little arrangement so D D sharp D and back to this A sharp here in the fifth uh, string third fret to this little arrangement which uses the same notes as the previous part but with a little you know different rhythm or intention all right so um basically again droning in low C <laughs> Drone C, F and G, G sharp and G, with a little rhythm to it. Drone C, F G, A sharp, second octave. A sharp G sharp and G drone C F and G repeat that little the previous one so all right and it closes basically doing this little C power chord Basically, drone C, F, G. And adding this, basically, the sixth, the G sharp. All right. And then we get basically to the final pre chorus or kind of a verse. So basically, it's the second half of the verse. Uh, starting with the C sharp. Uh, uh, again, cut in half, so the first half is with the C sharp, and the second half is with the harmonic. Right? And then we basically repeat the final chorus. Close it with, um, if you remember the um, post chorus riff, it's the same thing. But this time you play uh, the second octave of those power chords, so fifth and fourth string. All right. And you add the staccato to it, so. We're playing C power chord. All right. 5th and 7th fret uh, of the 4th and 5th string, 7th and 9th fret for this D power chord, and 8th and 10th fret for uh, this D sharp power chord. So. And then you close it by basically playing the the original one which is with the open the lower power chord so right a little fun fact if you want you can do like uh, the little 
another arrangement he does live sometimes is right? starting basically G sharp uh, and walking down G sharp G F D sharp and D so that's basically science guys uh, I'm sorry I've been away for so long I've been having health issues and then got on vacation and yeah so uh, hopefully I'll get back to it and continue with still this album so thanks a lot for watching and see you uh, next time let me know if you got any questions by the way I know I've been as I said I've been away so basically maybe I'm kind of rusty for this one so sorry for that and thanks a lot for watching